Tonight's the night starts tonight. What can you tell us about it? Uh, well, it is the story of a young man called Stu who's basically very shy, geeky, and socially quite awkward. Yeah. And um, he really wishes that he could be a lot more like his idol, who's Rod Stewart. So he sells his soul to the devil in exchange for Rod's and takes on Rod's um, rock persona. But amongst that come all the other complications of him, you know, having his very real love story with Mary, yep. but also being like trapped and uh, distracted by all the women and the fans that come with fame. So uh, my part in the story anyway is that I'm Mary's best friend and there's a bit of a, lo a love triangle that goes on with another character called Rocky. Yep. And my character's quite sassy and aggressive and not a fan of Stu. Um, and so the first time that we see my character's called Dee Dee, the first time we see Dee Dee being vulnerable is when she kind of confesses how she really feels about Rocky, which is a solo called First Cuts the Deepest, which starts with a cappella of no music and then comes with an acoustic guitar. And it's quite an emotional yeah. moment. And I suppose your journey, personal journey, to get on to something like this has been quite unique. You were representing Eurovision and then you're obviously part of Sugar Babes. How do you go about well, explaining them how you ended up here in Derry? Well, I actually, when I first started learning to sing and dance, I started in theatre, so I've kind of come full circle. Yeah. And I went to a performing arts school in London called the Sylvia Young Theatre School, so everything there was, was geared towards that. And mm -hmm. my first ever experience of sort of professional work in the industry was in the West End doing The Lion King. Yeah. Um, so I carried on doing music because singing's always been my passion. Um, but obviously, doing, since doing the band, the girls and I have been on a break and auditions came up and this was something that was by chance. I, I hadn't planned to be in the show, but they yeah. offered it to me and it's on tour, so that's how I ended up in Derry because <laughs> every week we're in a different city, which is really cool. We get to see everywhere. Have you ever been in Derry before? Is this uh, your first, first impression of us? Yeah, this is my first time. I've literally only been here two hours. <laughs> um, and yeah, I haven't really seen very much to be honest, but we've got the week, so I'm going to try and explore as much as possible. And uh, in the build up to the show, there was uh, quite a lot of uh, people getting excited that Jade Hume was coming down to see it. What, would you, what advice would you give to maybe Irish boys who would be interested in maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm maybe really shy. Maybe up on a night out. <laughs> I, do, I like to laugh. Yeah. And I'm a really cheap day. I don't, I don't really drink very much because I have two drinks and I'm gone. So yeah. you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Makes me sound really easy, which I'm not. <laughs> but you are going out during the weekend, Derry, anyway. Yeah, we're going to try to. I don't know where it's good to go. I haven't, I haven't even got any friends to ask, so I don't know. We'll have to explore. So, Aries boys, take note. <laughs> That's Brennan G. Thanks Thank very much.